our subscriber got new Honda CRF 450RX and proposed to shoot the installation of SnowRider truck system. The kit includes ski, truck with brake system and fasteners for specific bike model. It is necessary to install thermostat, protection and 7M battery. I start with this ski. Brake rotor cover, wheel, fork guards and front brake system should be removed. The ski bracket is installed by an external band forward. Spaces from Snow Rider kit and OEM axle are used. The lawn spacer is installed from brake caliper side. The clamp has cut for brake caliper mount on the fork. It is installed as low as possible and evenly tightened so that the gaps are the same on both sides. Next, tighten axle with 88 newton meters and fork bolts with 20 newton meters. The clamp fixes the ski bracket on fork legs. The tank, fairing and battery box should be removed to remove thin arm and install truck. From right side, master cylinder with brake pedal should be removed as they are not used on the snow bike. Also remove linkage connecting arm bolt and swing arm axle nut. Remove side stand and sprocket cover. To remove linkage connecting arm bolt, it is necessary to remove foot pack with bracket. The swing arm can be removed with rear shock and wheel without disconnecting the chain. But I remove the wheel first to make it easier. I recommend to lift the swing arm then removing the axle. The bike is brand new so the axle is sliding easily. Now the truck can be installed. The kit includes spaces for specific bike model. Short spacer is installed outside and long one inside. To install axle, the holes in the frame and spaces must be precisely centered. The axle is easily installed by hand. The chain already has required length. The cut of the clip should be against chain movement. To pull the chain, loosen the subframe bolts by a quarter turn. After, loosen the fixing nut of adjusting bolt. Rotate the adjusting bolt to move the subframe backward. Fully tighten the nut of adjusting bolt and subframe bolts. The rod with joints is installed instead of rear shock. It is mounted via space on top and washes on bottom. The mount is rigid as shocks are used in the truck. Axle nut is tightened with 88 newton meters. The brake line is better to lay under the tank platform and fix it with the T. Master cylinder is installed in place of front brake. The brake system is assembled and bleeded. Next I have to drain coolant to install thermostat and radiator braces. I install Muse Racing radiator guard, which is necessary on snow bike.
I recommend to install thermostat to block radiators on cold engine for faster warming up. OEM KTM thermostat and hoses from Lada Vesta fit good. The remaining assembly is performed in reverse order. Mud guard should be removed. Modern bikes don't have Kickstarter, so the low power OEM battery should be replaced with 7 amp one, which needs bigger box. The brake line should be fixed on the rod, not to touch exhaust. Special sponge prevents accumulation of dirt for enduro and ice on snow bike. Engine should be covered with thermal insulation to prevent sudden cooling, then falling in snow. In this case, the fuel does not burn fully and flows into the oil, in its properties. The kit includes canister, backpack with avalanche shovel and front bag. For riding in forest, I recommend to install hand guard, engine covers and skid plate. There is an adjustable slider to pull drive chain and adjustable sprocket to pull transmission chain. Snow bike is cheaper, more economical and much lighter than mounting snowmobile. Due to compact dimensions, it allows to ride in the forest and lift it by oneself if it is stuck in the snow. Any biker quickly learns how to control and maintain a snow bike. Subscribe if information was interesting.